Hello, I'm Laura McCarry at The Hidden Edge with another tea break tip on how to use business models and tools to help you manage your growing business. Today, we're looking at the six drivers of change, the future skills gaps and what to do about it. This is a summary of uh, a survey that was done by the Institute for the Future for uh, University Phoenix Research Institute. They started off with their um, survey with um, looking at the drivers, uh, um, the big disruptive shifts that are likely to reshape the future workforce environment. Let's have a look at those six drivers that emerged from this research. And so the six drivers of change. Extreme longevity. Aging individuals will increasingly demand opportunities, products and medical services to accommodate more healthy and active senior years. As we move forward to that world of healthier lifestyles and holistic approaches to what we eat, how we work and where we live, much of, a, much of daily life and the global economy as a whole will be viewed through the lens of health. The rise of smart machines and systems. Workplace automation nudges human workers out of rote and repetitive tasks. We will be entering a new kind of partnership with machines that will build on our mutual strengths, resulting in a new level of human machine collaboration and codependence. Computational world. Massive increases in sensors and processing power to make the world a programmable system. As a result, whether it's running a business or managing individual health, our work and our personal lives will increasingly demand abilities to interact with data, see patterns in data, make database decisions and use data to design for desired outcomes. New media ecology. New communication tools require new media literacies beyond text. New media technologies are bringing about a transformation in the way that we communicate. As technologies for video production, digital animation, augmented reality, gaming and media editing become ever more sophisticated and widespread, a new ecosystem will take shape around these areas. Superstructured organisations. Social technologies drive new forms of production and value creation. A new generation of organisational concepts and work skills is coming not from traditional management stroke organisational theories, but from fields such as game design, neuroscience and happiness psychology. These fields will drive the creation of new training paradigms and tools. Globally connected world. Increased global interconnectivity puts diversity and adaptability at the centre of organisational operations. Presence in areas where new competitors are popping up is critical to survival, but it's not enough. The key is not just to employ people in these locals, but also to effectively integrate these local employees and local business processes into the infrastructure of global organisations in order to remain competitive. What does this mean for skill shortage? Sense making, the ability to determine a deeper meaning or significance of what is being expressed. Social intelligence, the ability to connect to others in a deep and direct way to sense and stimulate reactions and desired interactions. Novel, and adaptive thinking, a proficiency at thinking and come up with solutions responses beyond that which is rote or rule based. Cross cultural competencies, the ability to operate in different cultural settings. Computational thinking, the ability to translate vast amounts of data into abstract concepts and to understand data based reasoning. New media literacy, 
the ability to critically assess and develop content that uses new media forms and to leverage these media for persuasive communication. Transdisciplinarity. Literacy in and ability to understand concepts across multiple disciplines. Design mindset, the ability to present and develop tasks and work processes for desired outcomes. Cognitive load management, the ability to discriminate and alter information for importance and to understand how to maximise cognitive functioning using a variety of tools and techniques. And finally, virtual collaboration, the ability to work productively, drive engagement and demonstrate presence as a member of a virtual team. How do these figure in your business future aspirations? You may need to do a job analysis or a job evaluation. Think about the titles, think about the people that you have in your business and that you will need in your business. What, school, what skills that they currently have and what future skills will they need? Use this template to plot out what that might look like in the future. Use this list to consider how you might create continuous professional development for your workforce now and for the future. So there you have the six drivers of change, the future skills gaps, and what you might want to do to see how you can avoid those gaps in your workforce. Have a go, download the templates from the Hidden Edge website and whilst you're there, do share your stories of what's worked well for you in the past. Until next tea break time, enjoy the rest of this one.